ship The Call of Duty guard. series has impacted just the world's war FPS market like Daisy Games. And now after taking back the series from Pine Studios, Empathy Ward brings you Call of Duty 4. Empathy may have finally realised the World War 2 market has dried up, and so has our interest. So, unlike previous Call of Duty games, Empathy has decided to try to contend in the modern warfare market. The game moves away from the standard storytelling that most games use, nothing can quite prepare you for being dragged down the streets as you're about to get executed. This new style of story gives you the style of a film, and with the storyline well integrated in the game, you have just a feeling this is what interactive movies should have been like. While well, the game still, still make use of additional cutscenes, they're few and far between. Of course, one of the most important aspects of the story behind the game is that it's plausible. While previous Call of Duty games if you're wondering what it would have been like if you were fighting the World War, Call of Duty 4 leaves you with a hope you never have to. The storyline trickles slowly into it erupts and you're left with a jaw hitting the floor. And that's what's great about the most recent Call of Duty 4. It's not predictable. And while you could be doing a nice standard bug mission to kill some bad guys, you could also be saving millions of people from death. The pace keeps up all the way through and keeps you engaged in the game. Of course, even if the storytelling is amazing, you still want even better gameplay. And Call of Duty 4 offers an thrilling sense of action. As soon as you jump in the game, you're battling your way through the bad guys on the ship containing a nuclear weapon and trying to get off the sinking ship when it's been attacked by any planes. Whew. Call of Duty offers not only a standard true art, but it still allows you to partake in a good range of game styles, whether it be using a plane to help your guys, or going low while tanks roll right past you. And if you're anything like me, right over you. The standard missions are not as simple as going straight in the line and shooting the bad guys. Instead, you'll find yourself battling from street to street, finding good cover with the buildings around you. Every aspect of the gameplay will leave you with a great sense of achievement, and that is until you realise the game's only six hours long and perform people even faster. That said, even excluding the multiplayer, the game is worth every penny. And for length, it lacks, it sure makes up in quality. The graphics is great. Throughout the whole game, it makes use of its own graphics engine. Infinity Ward has managed to create something that works worth the game, and not a game that works worth the graphics engine. It no point struggles with doing the task given at hand. Open first of tanks, easy. Smoking buildings with light beaming into them, easy. What's even more surprising is you don't need a great computer to run Call of Duty 4. If you've got a standard bug in the mill computer, you should have no problem running in high mode. Call of Duty 4 is available on the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Each version behaves as it should, however, as an average PC game, I see added value within the game, as in mods. And as they start coming out, as I expect them to do so, we'll see some great things. Altogether, Call of Duty 4 offers a great, but short, mind-boggling, mind-blowing game, with so much to keep it standing out against the crowd. I've been Dan Neverthought, and you've been watching to the Call of Duty 4 review. This is Game Screen. Episode 3 